begging. Well, it's just a little bit more. Come on. I'm dying. My arms are asleep. Drop me anywhere, boy. Hey, what is this? She wouldn't stop complaining till we helped her move the stuff. Who? Vange? No, me. A sofa? Yeah, I know they're disgusting, but I do not sit on logs. Where did you get it? The dump's not far from here. Far enough. I know it's not traditional, but you're way more comfortable. Hope you don't mind. Why should I mind? Ah, this is great. So, who's up tonight? Me. I got a good one. Fine, I'll just pull up a rock. Okay, listen up. My story is about games. Everybody loves games. Especially when you win. Losing's not so hot. But it doesn't really matter, because it's only a game. And you can always play again. Right? Well, not always. If you're gonna play the game in my story, you better win. Because if you lose, you may never play another game. Ever. Again. Submitted for the approval of the Midnight Society. I call this story... The Tale of the Zombie Dead. but you're really creeping me out. young bud how about double or nothing or how about a trip to the guidance office so what happened a ah, slap on the wrist no sweat glum a dick though geek i told you you were gonna get busted but you never listen to me you're an old lady and if i listened to you i'd never do anything fun i'm not an old lady oh yeah you're a granny no i'm not Okay, when was the last time you took a chance on anything? I mean, put it out there and thought you might lose, but at the last second sucked it up and kicked butt? Granny. I'm just cautious. supposed to mean sodas are on me young buds hey you want to play alex <laughs> why so i can lose gee thanks but no alex doesn't like games he doesn't take chances he's what you'd call 
a wimp. Hey, nobody <laughs> asked you. Tell you what, Al. I'll make you a bet you can't lose. I'll bet you anything that this place is gonna close at 7 o'clock. Come on, give me a break. Come on, Alex, look at the sign. Last chance, but... Can't take a chance even when you know you're gonna win, can you, Alex? We gotta go home. Game over! <laughs> you are a wise young man. Never let anyone pressure you into a game you don't feel comfortable playing. It takes a certain type to be a gamesman. One who revels in the excitement of competition, thrives on the test of skill under pressure, and thrills to the fact that if they don't perform, Someone like you. You never lose, do you? Haven't yet. Who are you? I'm Mr. Click. Perhaps you'd like a more worthy opponent, like myself. Oh, man, you got it. I'll take you on any of these games. Tate, he owns the place. These are his games. He'll kill you. Ah, he's an old guy. I'll kick his... Um, well, I'll do really well. And if you triumph, I'll allow you free run of my Emporium for a year. Oh, man, sweet! What if he loses? Then I take... your thumbprint. My thumbprint? A small risk, no? Especially for someone as confident as you. Look, Tate, I mean, you know you can beat him, right? So then you don't have to prove anything? Look, yeah, yeah, I can play free anytime. Let's go. Perhaps another time. Clambo, finish loading the truck. <clears throat> now. Do not challenge me. Then prepare a new display. I believe we'll soon be receiving another guest. Hey, Tate, guess what? Three movie passes. What do you want to see? Can't, man. I'm going to clicks. Again? Why? He challenged me, bud, and I back down. Like you. Listen, Tate, there's something seriously wrong with this guy, okay? He wants your thumbprint? What's that about? Don't know, but I'm gonna find out. Oh, come on, man, don't go. Alex, when somebody challenges me, I gotta take him on. It's just the way I am. I'm not a granny like you. Feeling more confident today? Hey, I got all the confidence I need to beat you, old bud. Name your game. Splendid. My game... is Zombie Dice. This is my office. Looks more like a funhouse. Hey, where are the goofy mirrors? Why aren't you the clever one? So, uh, where's this zombie game? You'll notice that one side on each shows a red skull. You roll the dice three times. If a skull appears, even once, you lose. If not, you win! But that's total luck. Indeed. Forget it, I thought we were gonna play a real game. But we are. The game is to see if you have the nerve to play. Or if you're a coward. Like your friend. You're on, old bud. And your emporium's gonna be mine for a year. Or your thumbprint will be mine. Forever. Yeah! Oh, 
Oh, yeah. Two down, one more, and this place is mine, bud. This is a stupid game. Nevertheless, a wager is a wager, and it's time for you to settle. Uh, what's in there? You'll find a pedestal upon which you'll press your thumb. That was lame. I want you on a real game. Goodbye. Bud. supposed to tell me what to do. Oh. Okay, Frankenstein, whatever. That's where I put my thumbprint. You really ought to get some sun, you know? Done, I'm out of here. Yo, what? What's the deal? The deal is you're going on a little trip. You see, I have buyers from all over the world who are willing to pay a handsome price for such unique. <laughs> He's not here, and it's closed. Six o'clock, remember? such a weirdo. I just hope Tate isn't... Would you stop that? Maybe they're in the back. Go look. Oh, uh, no, I, I can't go back there. You're such a weenie. I'll go. No. Sit. Stay. What am I, a dog? Yes. Yes, you're a dog. Now, don't move. <laughs> Mr. Click? Oh, man. They were all so confident, so sure they could beat the odds. What did you do to him? I won his thumbprint. And when you take someone's thumbprint, 
You own them. I earn a fortune selling our little friends as... Oh, what's the best way to put it? Pets. <laughs> Pets? Get back to work! Go! He's strong as an ox, though not nearly as intelligent. He'll soon be joining my little menagerie. <laughs> Running out on your friend? You really are a coward, aren't you? What's gonna happen to him? I have a buyer in Australia. Tate should like it down there. If he survives the journey. Not all of them do. Let him go! But he lost the wager. It was all very fair. However, there is a way you could save him. If you're willing to take a chance. Three rolls. If you win, I give your friend back. If you lose, your thumbprint will be mine. I don't know. I don't gamble. Then maybe it's time you started. If you cared about your friend. Wait. If this is fair, you roll. Don't you trust me? No. Same rules. Except no skulls, you win. Skull show, I win. I accept. Exciting, no? Just throw them. Want me to roll again? No. I want to try a different game. But you have nothing new to wager. Yes, I do. If I win, Tate and I go free. And if you lose? If I lose, you can have my little brother. I don't believe I understand. You see, I'm not very good at games, but there's one thing that I'm pretty good at. I say I can drink these two mugs of soda before you drink that one small glass. Cool. You're nuts. All I want is a head start. You can't pick up your glass until I finish one mug and put it back down again. There must be a trick. You'll move my glass. Oh, no, see, I can't touch your glass. And you can't touch either of my mugs. What'd you bet him? Uh, don't ask. I'll take your wager, but only if you make it three mugs. What? No way. Three mugs. Take it or leave it. Then you've got to raise the stakes. How so? Well, if I win, we go free. But then I get your thumbprint. Agreed. All right. I get a head start, right? Agreed, and no touching each other's glasses. Agreed. You have to drink 
the others a bit faster than that. Ready? If you are. What? Oh, yeah. You can't touch his glass. Those are the rules. He's going to finish before you. That's not fair. You said that I can't. Oh, it's fair, all right. You agreed. You're done, pal. Excellent, Doc. I won't allow this. You're winning under false pretenses. You're... You're... I'll tell you what he is. He's the winner, and you lose. What? How did you escape? Thanks, Al. I guess you're not such a granny after all. Oh, I'm a granny. A really smart granny. I refuse to accept this. He's not getting away that easy. Where's Mr. Click? Game's over. No one ever played another game in Click's Aporium again. Any game. That was amazing. Great story. And I like this furniture a lot. <laughs> Queen likes it a little too much. Mom, oh, I gotta school today. 